What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how I did a $10,000 wholesale deal here in Arizona. Now make sure you stick around to the end of the video because this was almost a $46,000 wholesale deal. But then some craziness went down and it turned into a $10,000 wholesale deal. So you got to see how that happened. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, let's get right into the video. All right, so this lead came in from cold calling, it came in from cold call marketing, and it came in off of a high equity list. It came in off of one of my favorite lists, which is high equity. If you're not calling high equity, you need to be, right? Those are people that have owned their property for a very long time, and they've built up equity in their property. It's worth more than what they owe. They're able to make money, you're able to make money. It's where you create those win-win situations, because they have equity. They're going to profit and they're going to be able to leave you some money on the table to profit as well. So make sure you're calling high equity and make sure you're doing cold call marketing. This is how I get the majority of my deals. So what was the situation with the lead? We spoke with the sister and she told us that she was remodeling the property and she didn't want to finish it. She was tired of fixing up the property. She didn't want to finish the remodel. Everything was half done. She was tired of dealing with contractors and she was just done with it. She didn't want to do any more work to the property and her brother owns the property and she was living in it. She was paying the mortgage and everything. So it was basically her property and she's just like, I don't want to remodel it anymore. I want to sell it and I want to move out. And we were like, okay, that sounds great. You know, we love to buy properties that are halfway remodeled. That way we can come in and, you know, finish the remodel. It makes our life easy. You know, most of the time, as long as they did the portion of the remodel so far correctly, we can just come in and finish it rather than redoing everything. But if they did the remodel wrong, things are done wrong, the tiles put in bad, plumbing bad, electrical bad, you name it, then we'll just redo everything. But if they did a good job with the remodel that they halfway did, then it's a win. It's a big win. We just get to go in and finish it. You know, a lot of the times that's what I deal with. The flips that I take down are easy ones. Sometimes they were remodeling their property and they just didn't want to finish. And I'd come in, throw 10 grand to finish the remodel and, you know, have that thing done in about a week. It's on the market and I make a huge profit. So I love deals like this. So I was excited when I heard that's the reason why she wanted to sell. So we got down to negotiating on price and we decided between the two of us, you know, she wanted around 150, 155 and we were able to negotiate down to 140,000. And she said, you know what? I'll take 140,000 for it. I'm happy with it. Let me talk to my brother and make sure he is okay with the 140,000 as well. So she talked with her brother. He was on the same page. He wanted that 140,000. So I got on the phone with the brother and I got him signed. I sent the contract to him through e-sign, got him, walked him through the contract, answered all the questions he had and got him to sign on the dotted line. So we had the property under contract for 140,000. I went out to the property. She works two jobs, so I wasn't even able to meet her. I went out to the property and I met her contractor that was finishing up some of the work that he was doing and he walked me through the property that way I could get pictures. I took pictures of the property and when I was there, there was, you know, remodeling done. I'll show you the pictures. There was some remodeling done, but then there was also things about the property that were completely wonky. They were just wonky. And this happens in a lot of areas like this where people are putting on these, these wild additions that are step down additions. They're not done correctly. There's plumbing issues. Like it had a bunch of wonky additions. Also the electrical box was from like 19, 1922. So old, the hot water heater, so old. So there was a lot of things that, you know, needed to be upgraded other than just cosmetic work. But regardless, it looked like a big deal. So that's what I did. I took the pictures and I blasted out the deal to all the cash buyers for $190,000. And I got an offer back for $186,000 and they were going to put down $5,000 worth of earnest money, non-refundable earnest money. I was like, boom, we just got a $46,000 wholesale deal. I walked the buyer through the property. He was okay with everything and we got into the escrow. Now, once in escrow, things started to change. The seller's brother called me and he told me, you know what? We're changing our mind. She feels too rushed out of the house. She doesn't have time to pack all her stuff. We're just going to finish the remodel. We're going to finish the remodel. We're not selling. 
I'm like, are you serious? You're not selling now. We, we made an agreement. You know, we came to a win-win decision. You made an agreement with me to sell the property. You, you gotta be joking. He's like, no, I'm not selling unless you give me $180,000. So now he's trying to get me to go up 40,000. I'm gonna lose all my assignment fee. And he made me wait so long to get this decision where he was gonna take the 180, where, you know, I was like, fine. You know what, I said, you won't do 150, 160, 170, come on. Give me something, give me something. Finally, I said, you know what, let's just do the 180, it's fine. But by that time, my buyer was out. I no longer had the buyer at 186. So now I have the property locked up at 180. I'm remarketing the property and blasting it out again. And I get it sold at 190, 18999, 189.99. And and somebody takes it for that price. So now I'm making 10 grand. Got 5K non-refundable earnest money, got it through escrow, everything went smooth from there through to the close and boom, I got paid $10,000. But as you can see, don't count your checks before they are deposited. Don't count your checks before they're in your hand. Because look what can happen. You have a $46,000 assignment fee. You have a property locked at 140. Seller changes their mind. They call you back and now they're not gonna sell to you unless you pay them 180. It's crazy. I had to go up 40,000, lost basically all the profit, but at the end of the day, still got paid and that's what counts. Now, I just wanna run you through a different option that I could have went down if he didn't sell to me. Or let's say the 180 was too much. Let's say I knew I could only sell the property at 170, and now he wanted more than what I could sell it for. But now, this is not legal advice, but what I would do if he wanted to cancel and wouldn't take a higher price, and there was just nothing there, it was completely dead, he wanted to cancel, I would file a memorandum on the property. Or if, if I knew I could only sell the deal at 170, and he wanted 180, so now it was no longer a deal, I would file a memorandum on the property. Now, what is a memorandum, right? What is an affidavit a memorandum? It is a, a lien, basically, that you put on a house. It's a document that you record with the county, and you put it on the house. You, you, you fill out this little memorandum form. You attach your purchase contract to it. You sign it. You get it notarized, and you send it to the county to record it. It costs a little bit money a little bit of money, you get it recorded with the county. Now this acts as if it's a lien on the property. Now next time he goes to sell the property and it goes through title, title is gonna pull up that there is a memorandum on the property and it has to get removed to have clear title. In order to ensure the, the escrow, in order to close the transaction, this memorandum has to get removed. So the title company has to call you or the seller has to call you and say, hey, can you remove this? And then you're like, you gotta give me a shot to buy it or you gotta give me five to $10,000 to remove it because we made an agreement in the past and in my purchase contract, you can add this to your purchase contract, have a term in there where it says, buyer is allowed to file a memorandum on the property. That way you're able to do this. This way you can protect yourself. You know, this is what we do for a living. This, we gotta eat too, right? And, and we gotta protect our business and, and you know, we're spending every money every month on marketing. We need a way to protect ourselves and that is a memorandum. So if I wasn't able to make this deal happen and get closed, I wasn't able to make any money and he just wanted to cancel, I would file a memorandum. So make sure you guys add that to your tool belt of things and resources that you can use in this business. Also, one more thing I wanna add at the end of this video is I just looked up the property. We did this deal a couple months ago and I looked it up and it's active on the market for 260,000. I hope my end buyer gets the 260,000 for it. That means he should make pretty good money. Got it for 190 and he probably only had to put about 15 grand in repairs to it. So he should make pretty good money after closing costs. He should make 20, 30 grand on the deal. So not bad at all. Win-win all around other than my one loss of 40,000 because the seller changed their mind. But it happens. Remember, it happens. You just got to push through, keep calling homeowners, keep locking up more deals. That's what you got to do. Whenever you take a loss in real estate, what you need to say to yourself is on to the next deal, on to the next deal, on to the next one. And that's how you keep rocking and rolling in this business. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I want you to text me, text me any questions you have. I just created this phone number where you can text me directly. It is 480-605-4784. Make sure you shoot me a text. Let's connect and let's chat. 
I will pop the number up on the screen. Make sure you text me. Also, make sure you go down below to the description. I have links for everything you need to wholesale real estate, and I also have links to my other social medias. So make sure you follow me on all my socials. But other than that, make sure you like the video and go down below, hit the red button, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate if you go subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.